Where is she? Where did she go? No! Oh, tell! I'll never tell you! You're just making things worse. Look, this is no place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down there. of August 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep. But as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me.
anybody! Help! Christ! I don't believe this! Why? I mean, why? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be! Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault! Why did he have to go in there? I don't go into burning houses! He should have known better! August 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Alexander, as the sun sets on Brennan. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. 
it seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered that things can be done, but at a price. <laughs>